Good evening, everyone. Good welcome, Avenian, to our very special evening tonight. Really excited to have Diamond Executive Lisa Stowers and her wonderful husband, Paul Stowers, focusing tonight on yeah, Lisa and Paul Stowers. The idea was to let's take Avini in a new direction. Let's allow and, and discover how we can uh, use Avini products and excited to know how they have been used in the area for training in professional sports. And in this particular case with Lisa, professional bodybuilding. So excited that she is here to share her experiences um, and her competition from last October, was it, Lisa? Yes, October. Yep. Okay. Yes. So to share my enthusiasm, I, I just want to share. Lisa is a professional, and I have had a love with bodybuilding since I was 18. My track coach in high school, and this is 1978, 1979, put the girls in with the football team and gave us weights and said we were no different than the guys. And we had to hack squat, we had to clean and jerk, we had to do some things that wasn't very ladylike, but the bug got started. But a bug has to really get committed to the level that Lisa has taken this. And while I'm a little amateur, I'm excited to hand this over to a true professional with competitions under her belt and winning prizes and using a beanie to maximize her physical potential. So Lisa, would you like to share your background, sweetheart, and how you incorporated our products to bring on your performance? Yes, I can get started with that. Uh, so let me go back just a little bit. When I was 36, I was right before I was 36, I was sick. I was very sick. I could barely take care of my kids. So that got me into the fitness industry in general. And so from there, I started to do weightlifting and whatnot and got healthier that way. So I did a competition. I asked my trainer, I'm like, do you think I can do this competition? Because I'm really ill and it just helped me with having that goal. Well, I did one, I did very well, took first place. But then long story short, then I became a trainer, personal trainer, got into the fitness industry. Then I was fast forward to 42 I'm into personal training full time. And I'm like, you know what, this would really help my business if I did another show. So I went to Canada, competed in muscle make oxygen competition, as well as a figure competition at that show, as well as one in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And you know what, I wasn't really healthy. I did it with, I got down in size within two months and I was ordering it. And it was really a tough show for me to do. Now, I am presently in my fifties. So going through menopause, whatnot, but hey, I won't get emotional, but okay. So I'm 53. So when I was 50, my mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and within a year or within a month, she passed very quickly. One year from that, my sister was diagnosed with triple, triple negative breast cancer. Okay. With that being said, all these things that were happening I spiraled into depression. I was, and I didn't even know it. I was just, I didn't even realize it. I just had so much going on, so many deaths. That wasn't the only one. There was eight deaths in two years, eight funerals, very close people in two years. So it was a lot to go through. On top of that, two years ago, I got in a car accident. So that was like the icing on the cake. And I ended up going, I'm like, forget it. I'm never going to be a trainer again. And I told my PT, I said, I can't do this. I can't even do half a push-up. I can't even lift five pounds because I of this car accident. So I just was like, I would be crying and he'd be like praying for me. And he was a great PT. Anyways, I had a great PT and a great chiropractor. But eight months later, I decided, you know what, Paul? I'm going to use all of our products. I'm going to test this out on me. <laughs> I can either keep, continue to mope and complain or I can decide to get healthy and change my life and see what are these products going to do for me? Hey, you know what? Let's do another competition. I'm curious. You know what? Let's see what I can do. So I asked uh, Mike Vrujink, who heads up the shows here in Grand Rapids. He's quite well known around here. And he did, which I don't know, some of you might have seen this little, my before and after stats, but 
he looked at me when I started and I said, do you think I can do this competition? I'm going through menopause. I've been through a lot of depression. went through this car. <laughs> he didn't say, no, you can't do it. But he didn't say yes either. So yes. And totally. I have a question. What was the time line that you had between the question you asked and the show time? What was the time? Six, line months. You had? Six, Six months. months. I know that's tight. Six months. Yeah. Yeah. And so I asked Mike, I'm like, how... I'm going through, I'm in full blown menopause here. And I'm like, I have no idea because I know how moody I got last time, but I you know, told my, like, and, and let me add, I know how moody she got last time. <laughs> <laughs> two times before that, it, it's really rough. If anybody has done these shows, they know it's really a rough uh, process. I told Mike, I said, you know what? I'm just going to use our product. And he's like, oh, you might want to use creatine. You might use some of these other things he suggested. I'm like, nope, not using any of it. I'm just using a BD product. So I did this all using a BD product and he was completely shocked because not only did I, was I able to accomplish and blend in with everybody on stage and do pretty well, I'd say for my before and after, but I didn't lose any muscle. And on top of that, I didn't, yes, I lost 20.38 pounds of fat and I gained 11.18 pounds of muscle. So, yes. Can I just point out during menopause, that transition, that hormonal shift, that's incredibly impressive because hormones are in flux. Yeah. And that's, that's very impressive. Okay. Sorry to interrupt on that, yep. but. So I still did my normal eating, my bodybuilding diet, but I really had quite a bit, three meals, 25 grams of protein. My other two meals, about 20 grams of protein. So I was eating quite a bit of healthy foods, but normally in the past, when I'm eating this way, because, oh, by the way, I don't have a thought bladder. Oh. <laughs> so because of that, wow. when I was 42, it was rough. So eating this way as a bodybuilder, it sounds like, oh, you're healthy. No, my stomach hurts so much, like, because I wasn't digesting things. It was so hard to digest all that protein. And I'm trying to like, so anyways, the fiber. Yes. So that has been wonderful since I started taking that. That has totally solved my, any issues I've had in the bathroom or any issues I've had with pain in my stomach. So praise the Lord. I don't have any pain in my stomach anymore on this bodybuilding diet because I'm on the fiber. I take it in the morning and night. I could tell you my regimen. If you want me to, I can give you that whole thing, but I took every single one of the products so I did trim and I wasn't sure about trim. I was like, right. Cause I was like, is this going to work? Mm -hmm. Is this going to work? <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. So trim science, I am a 100% believer. I will not do another show without using all of the beanie products because trim science allowed me to gain muscle and lose fat and keep my moods nice and happy. <laughs> So, so I, I'm going to just jump in here and say, I know yeah. every single person on this Zoom is going to want to, as I'm looking at Carol go like this, <laughs> and Christine, everybody's nodding. Everybody's going to want to know how you took the products and particularly the trim science throughout the day, if you'd be willing to share your regimen. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if you were. So I forget yeah. anything either. So just to tell you, I'll just throw in my meal. Do you want me to throw in my meals there too? Absolutely. Oh. Were you one of the microbiotic, macrobiotic diet people? Nope. Or? Nope. No. Good. Thank nope. you. Thank you. I did, I, I, did, I did a certain amount of uh, protein. I made sure I had an, enough protein. I had the right amount of vegetables. I had the right portions. I just wasn't obsessed with that. So first thing in the morning, I'd work out six days a week. I get up at 4.30, which tomorrow I'm getting up at 4.30. <laughs> and I work I love my little community I work out with. And then I take my pre, what do I call it? Avini Energy. Plus, plus, oh, plus, energy. plus energy. And let me tell you what, <clears throat> I can't take any pre-workouts, but that thing is wonderful. So I have my calorie burn I, on my watch. I can prove it, but I burn more calories with that. So I take my, that, and now I take our electrolytes, which I didn't have that when I did my last show, I had to buy it online. I did have to buy an electrolyte. That's the only thing I bought. And then at 8 AM, I have my breakfast and I take my two mushroom, two mushrooms. And I have my, 
my protein breakfast with my carbs. 9.30, I take my fiber and trim together. So it's like a little uh, snack in between uh, breakfast and my next meal because I have so many meals. <laughs> and at 10 o'clock, I have another, I have a snack, which means like a smaller meal, but it's like yogurt with a scoop of maybe protein powder in my yogurt or something like that. You know, that's just an example. And at lunch, I have a normal lunch. I do take the cell defender six times a day, 10 drops, six times a day. Okay. And I take it quite a bit. Oh, and also it helps with my muscle recovery. I forgot to say that because I kept saying to Paul, I was like, mm -hmm. why am I not getting sore? Like, am I not lifting heavy enough? Well, wait a minute. I'm sure to lift 50 pounds for this or 30 pounds. Or, and I never did that before. And it's because my muscles are recovering so quickly because I'm getting rid of heavy metals and toxins. So it was really cool. You're getting so get rid really of them and lifting them. I get so excited about it because <laughs> it has helped me so much in that process. And so, yeah, let me see. So a uh, 12 o'clock lunch, one o'clock trim science again. And I'm saying about one, you know, not exactly one, maybe one thirty, or whatever, but I take it in between my, uh, before my next snack. And um, I have my snack at three around and that is another healthy, whatever to later, but five to six is my last, is my supper. And then before bed, so in the morning, I take my fiber with my trim. At night, I take my fiber before bed. Now, I know that's not normally how Rick's to do it uh, 20 minutes before meal. So, but with these meals, I have so many meals, right? And it just works for me. And as I'm processing my food, and I like eating the, I really like taking the fiber before bed. It just, because of all the food I ate, it just helps me process. I, I just feel like it, it made things just perfect. But I do not take the fiber, by the way, if you're doing a competition, about a month before the show. Okay. Right. Um, please tell everybody why you Talk just kind of get bloated just a little bit, just a little bloat, but I, but you don't notice it if you're like not doing a show. Right. <laughs> but if you're doing a show, every little thing you notice. Right. So I also take, I did take two extra mushrooms before bed as well. I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Oh, plus relief. Well, I barely needed that because I'm not having sugar, but on top, the biggest thing is I was having the cell defender. So I wasn't getting pain in my joints because I'm assuming the heavy metals and toxins were in my joints. So I was able to recover and very quickly. So I'm trying to think what else am I missing, Paul? Mushrooms. Can I ask, were you higher on your fat intake? because of protein or were you ketovore carnivore nope, um, none of them. nothing like that okay no none of those so i guess okay. a normal breakfast would be two eggs a white an egg white sometimes i'd have one egg whites i'd always have some sort of like chicken sausage that's really high protein i'd always make sure i'd have about 30 grams of protein and i, I was a ate gluten-free and dairy-free also just so you know but it's just out of choice just because I wanted to, I'm not, I didn't have cheese on this diet at all, um, but sometimes maybe a little feta, that would be about it. Maybe I'm trying to think what else. What um, was a typical I had snack? Yogurt, I heard you say snacks food. a lot. Oh, I see your mouth moving, but I don't can't oh, hear. What, what were oh, typical sorry. snacks? My, my, hold oh, on there we go. No, it's Okay. So just quick, I, you had multiple snacks, just curious, an example of snacks. Okay, I could do apple. Have you ever had that protein, that powdered peanut butter? Mm -hmm. Yes. I yes. love it. So yeah. I would have some of that sometimes with an apple, but sometimes that's really not enough protein, depending on how much I'm getting at my other meals. So sometimes I add a little bit of chicken or something with it. But I was with that other um, snack. Let's see. I, I really enjoyed yogurt, my non dairy yogurt. I had a high protein uh, yogurt I used with a scoop of healthy protein that I used, protein powder. That was a common one. I'm trying to think. Sometimes uh, a thing of sardines. <laughs> That's good protein. Very good protein. <laughs> so, and on the day of competition, did you take products with you in your stage bag or anything like that, like Cell Defender? Yeah, I, know I always water has to be defender. kept at a minimum. We know we have to do minimum water unless it's alkaline nope. water. Then, did you use still, alkaline? I, I still drink water. I don't delete. I don't deplete water. Good, the day of, good. I might clean a little bit. I mean, I don't like have a ton of water, but 
I'm not like one of those, I do it the healthy way. I'm like, I don't care how I look. I'm going to be healthy doing this. So that is my motto. When I do a show, I always, I, I was probably, would you say the healthiest looking? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, I might have not been the perfect person there, but you know, I was the healthiest one and I felt like I had so much energy and I was happy and I felt, I don't know, we just, I was fine, ornery and like, gotta get out of here so I can eat. Did you also, and, and I know this from shows in the past of being around people on stage, the immediate after the show's over, you go straight for the chocolate sundae. Did yeah. you get that? I just was like, my daughter and I had a glass of wine. <laughs> There's yeah. always a carb like reward. And most of the that was my reward competitors <laughs> go for that chocolate or pizza. We went for pizza. But. I actually went for a uh, wine <laughs> because I couldn't have any alcohol for the whole six months. And I'm not big on, I'm like, now I don't have, like, I, it really does stifle your accomplishments when you have alcohol. So you pretty much have to get rid of it. Right. Right. Otherwise you puff up. It's an extra sugar. Your liver has oh, to yeah. process as a sugar. So totally mm -hmm. get that. And but, it messes uh, with your hormones and everything else. Yeah. yeah. So I, I can totally and completely imagine that you were one of, or the most healthy person on stage. On stage. Uh, and I can just imagine people looking faint, looking gaunt, looking tight, looking drawn, and you didn't. You just looked healthy and vibrant and... Is it okay if I share her pictures? Absolutely. We're here for the pictures, yes. Guys, I'm a proud uh, this husband. Is, this is <laughs> well, this is after there. It's okay. still oh, loading. Let's do the share screen. Let me do um, a share screen for you, Paul or Diane. Uh, are you I, doing that? Yeah, and I put it in the chat box too. Okay. And I was going to say, Paul, you, yeah. you should be able to share your screen, Paul. Okay. I was going to say at my other shows, right, the day of and the day before, I felt like my immune system was really low. But this past show, oh my goodness, no problem with my immune system. Our mushrooms, everything else we have, it keeps, I'm just very thankful for our products. So Those you... are incredible before and after. Wow. Pretty good for six months. I could have done that, better. Yes. Hey, Giving me another yes. one, I would have done better. <laughs> In incredible everybody i don't know if you all can open your chat screens paul has put the before and after there Woohoo! <laughs> i think i'm sharing my screen now too you are it's amazing she's beautiful in both the competition wow yeah i just want to it's not about like looks either when people see those they're like oh you just want to be skinny or whatever no it's really no. just getting that goal to be have that health goal the first time i did it i was ill and i needed a goal the second time i did it for my job but although i wasn't healthy doing it but i am very glad that i would like to encourage other people just to um, live a healthy lifestyle in general and um, with our products you can do that yes even more so so this is wonderful. You know, Chip Littlejohn often on all the calls comments that when we're using the products for particular reasons, it's the same for a, a malady, a call to arms if somebody is having a health challenge versus a maximum athlete as yourself. It's the same. And the fact that you've proven that and we're demonstrating tonight with you being here this is wonderful. It opens up a whole new genre for our company for you to be here and tell us your story. So, and I do want to say one more thing. My suit represents purple and pink pancreatic cancer and my breast cancer that my sister fought breast cancer for. So, thank you. Wow, it's beautiful. It those would be, yeah, good reasons. <laughs> no, Many good reasons. Um, oh, you so lucky guy. Yeah, I, I, I'm a good salesman, that's for sure. So, so we'd like to open up in, and if, Lisa, if you have yeah. more to share, we'd like to open it up for questions for anyone asking Lisa. Yes. How much protein did you have every day? Protein powder. I didn't have a lot of protein shakes, but I did. I had about 30. I had, if you're, if depending on what you weigh, it was 
a pound per body weight <laughs> or, or a, a gram, a excuse gram. me, a gram of protein. So I had a hundred and about a hundred for sure. 120, 125 grams of protein a day. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and, and did you use, and I'm sorry if you've already repeated this because just I'm a little deaf. Uh, did you use some protein powder, some flesh proteins, um, egg sources? Where did you find your total grams? Because that's quite a few grams. So I, I have my little, what do you call it? The first time I did this, I ate a lot of tuna. I rare, I didn't eat any, hardly any tuna at this time. I was just enjoying, I like venison. So I had that almost every day with these high protein noodles, but I measure them out and I have, yeah, it was a great combination with veggies you could put in there, but protein, I did have some protein shakes because I had to have stuff. Sometimes I could throw my purse. So sometimes I would only use protein shakes if I had no time to like pack anything or I was in a hurry. Chicken. I had a lot of chicken. Eggs. I, I definitely have a lot of That's eggs. eggs. Uh... <laughs> I love eggs. So those are every morning. Yeah. Supper. So I can have steak or turkey, shrimp once in a while. Clean meats. Yes. I have a question. Uh, Lisa, what was your workout? Well, like how many hours were you working at? You said you work out six days a week. Were you doing cardio and weights? Yep. I did old pay because of my age. And I would advise anybody who's 50 or older to do weight lifting. And the, the reason is you don't want to, when you're training for a show, especially my age, I didn't want to incorporate, even though I love doing CrossFit and plyometrics, I actually got rid of all that. And what I did was the old school weightlifting. And so I like, for example, Monday was legs and shoulders. Tuesdays was chest and tries. Wednesdays was back day. Thursdays is the glutes and hamstrings. I did abs three days a week, you know, just like any other muscle group when I was done, but I did six days a week. The sixth day, I just hit whatever I thought I needed to hit, <laughs> but I didn't really hit good that week. I only worked out for an hour a day. Did you do um, cardio? Oh, and I did a lot of walking, but I did not do jumping cardio on purpose because it can work against you. Right. If you're our age. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right. Did Corey. that in six months? Six months it took. Oh my word. <laughs> you are an inspiration. Did yeah. Paul get inspired? Are do you are you ready to do a couple <laughs> show? Are you that ready to the, do a that couple is, that's stage the, performance? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. He's never done any of the shows with me. So in fact, I, I taught boot camp for two and a half years. And I don't think you came to a single class. No. <laughs> but my inspiration, I, back when she was getting ready for the show, I think I lost 20 pounds. I mean, I- He likes pickleball. I play 15, 20 hours a week of pickleball. So it's hard for me to give that up for, I really need to lift weights because at my age, I, I need to, that's the only way I'm going to really reposition the, the structure of my body. So, but- I, I am on a path for that. I just finally I'm getting to the point where we have a lifestyle that we can, you know, can do that kind of stuff and not, and still have the rest of the day to do other things. So, and I need to learn pickleball. So, you know, yeah. but I'll have to wait till after my next show and then do pickleball. Reading Priscilla's comment, we all need to le lift weights. We absolutely do. The preservation of muscle is longevity. And so it's so important that we do keep our muscle it it does determine the length of our life most mm -hmm. people think it's low body weight no it's not it's not it's muscle preservation absolutely you're such an inspiration mm. such an it, inspiration and it does help with if you have balance issues i with my sickness i had when i was 36 if i wasn't lifting my balance would be horrible so i'm just i have a the whole story about that but so it's really important no matter what your situation is um it, it really helps as you age for balance and everything so what non-dairy yogurt did you eat i'd have to get out of the fridge to see what it was called do you want me to go get it <laughs> sure <laughs> was it greek by the tell? no i i wasn't having dairy and i didn't oh. find one there's only one that i found that was higher protein i can go run and get Is it, it. Almond? um no not almond coconut yogurt nope ah oh, darn it <laughs> love coconut yogurt it's a nice <laughs> alternative so did you see your business increase because of her show? Well, uh, let, me let me say this about uh, Lisa. What's it called? 
Chobani. So it's Ch lactose. Ch Ch it's zero lactose and zero sugar. Greek yogurt. This one is, what was it again? 11 grams of protein. So what I did is I used a half a scoop of uh, protein, chocolate protein powder. And I actually like it because it's like a treat. And I put in here, or you can use Kashi cereal and put a little Kashi in there and you get about 25 grams of protein. I kind of have it nailed down to where I have a certain amount of grams of protein. So this was a good balance. Made in New York. What was your question? Sorry, Tony. <clears throat> you asked the question about the business increasing. So yeah. Lisa, in all the years that that I've been involved in the industry, it's been my thing. She's been she did her thing, took care of the kids. I did my thing, and as long as the bills were paid and there was food on the table, she didn't care what I did. This was the first company that she not only has embraced the products at the level that she has, but she's actually getting customers and distributors. In every other company, she's never done that. And so, yeah, with her before and afters and her story, she, you've got several mm -hmm. customers and mm -hmm. distributors. Uh, and uh, interesting conversations I had at the show with some competitors that had interest in use. They did use some of our products. I did get some using our products. So Priscilla asked you, Lisa, she says, when does your fitness coaching course start? Oh, you can call me anytime. <laughs> I'm, you have my, I don't know, you're welcome to call me and I can help you answer questions on exercise or it's just something I, I love to help people with. Awesome. awesome. I've done it all my life. So <laughs> by the way, where's that card at? If I know people would like from a marketing perspective, we did this, this card up and it has her before and after, and then it shows her results on the right hand side here and what and actually also shows what product she took that's better than a business card that's incredible for those that would, for those that would like this if you get with tony or whoever invited you uh, i'll make sure to get that to you tony okay. uh, this card, and they thank can you feel free absolutely. to use that absolutely that isn't actually if you don't mind me saying that's a great trade show card yep oh yeah mm -hmm. yep. that's absolutely <clears throat> That's kind of part of the future we we definitely want to venture into as far as setting up booths at the show with the before and afters and the you know and then the products because in the bodybuilding world and and I was busy with some text. I don't know if she already talked about this, but when they're standing on stage, most of them are really at the worst health condition they could be and their immune systems are shot. For that, it, day. for that day, because they've been just cutting. Well, the thing is, when you get rid of all that fat, right, it's where do the toxins and heavy metals go? You do have aches and pains and joint issues, and it's not a fun thing, and it's not really a healthy thing yes. to do it that way. So we we believe that, and of course, as Tony, that world spends a lot of money on supplements, and they're dedicated, and when you can show these kind of results... It, it really is a great opportunity. If, if there are bodybuilding shows in your area, I think a table tends to cost two, three, four hundred dollars and, you know, set up and go talk to them, you know, let them know, bring that the clin clinical study that shows muscle re supports muscle recovery. You know, that's a great support piece for that, for the cell defender. But, and of course, all the other products, but I want to commend both of you for being so generous with your tools, your ideas, and you've done this cross company lines. You've been very, very generous this way. We so appreciate how you just across the board care for everybody and have shared with everybody your presentations, offering to everyone. So appreciate you very, very much. And we should all take that same idea <laughs> of generosity. So hope that you are on stage again. And are you on stage again in Las Vegas? Will we see you again? I'm not sure who, who's on stage yet. Who knows? Maybe we'll be. I hope I'm not. because I'm not. She gives herself a heart. Would you all, I, I just, for, for a compliment to her, would you all agree she actually speaks really well and she doesn't give herself enough credit? She gets all worked up, like, and yet you get her talking and you can't shut her up. She just, she, she, she goes. <laughs> Well, you're a beautiful team. You're a wonderful representation of a dynamic duo for Avini, and we're so grateful for you. 
thank you for doing this tonight on the spur of the moment like you did. I think it's, I think again, we're opening up a whole venue, a whole genre of athletic support. And I know Chip is here. Chip, would you like to comment, Mr. Barefoot's water skier? Would you like to chime in, sir? Well, I got to have one of those early dinners with them, you know, after she had done the show and visit with them and get to know them. And what a fascinating couple. What an amazing history. And truly to draw Lisa into um, the high performance side of Avini is is really a blessing to all of us. And I agree with what you said. I always respect someone who does it in a way that everyone benefits and Tonight's certainly a perfect example of that. Why not high performance people? You know, we, you know, not certainly everybody doesn't have to be sick. And it's like, sometimes it's a competition for, oh, I bet I can find a sicker one than you found. But the idea of super high performance people, people like Paul that know the profession and the industry of marketing products and healthy products and find a beanie to be compelling those are great people to approach as well. And those two, I offer them as examples of people that might be great for you to approach. If you see some traits there that uh, you can recognize in people that you see during the day, uh, they make, as you can see, they make great Avini distributors. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Honored to be a part of, of what Avini is all about. So we have you as shining examples of our diamond executive leadership. So thank you again. 